Do you hate RPGs with deus ex machinas, confusing plots, and annoying characters? Do you never get tired of slaying dragons and saving princesses? Do you enjoy level grinding for hours on end for 90% of your gameplay time? Then come and let's play Dragon Warrior! Yeah! What do you mean this is the worst idea for an LP ever? Shut up! I'm having fun! You guys wanted to know where But Thou Must came from? Well, here it is, Dragon Warrior, the first RPG I ever played when I was just a wee lad at seven years old. I've probably played it at least 20 times, uh, not to mention the four times that I played it this year to get it ready for this LP. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I'm insane. So let's begin a new quest to save the world, starting by entering our name. Now, one of the interesting things about Dragon Warrior is that your name determines your long-term stat growth in the game. Uh, specifically, your HP, MP, Strength, and Agility will increase more or less from level to level, depending on the name you choose. Uh, the way it works is your name will pick two of those stats for better long-term stat growth, and the other two will grow somewhat slower. Now, someone on GameFAQs created this calculator to help you determine what your long-term stat growth will be. And a whole bunch of other things too. Like, for example, let's say you got the name Loto here, you go down and look at the growth here, you'll have better long-term HP and MP growth. Really, it doesn't take into effect until you get into the later levels. But still, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Now, I didn't figure all this out on my own. I mean, a whole bunch of hackers on GameFAQs figured this out. I'm just listing the ones that I remember from our discussions months ago in the video description to credit them for their help, and links to websites like this one so you can do whatever you want. Me personally, I like focusing on long-term strength and agility, so let's choose a name that will allow me to do that. Lord Kefka! <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's see, let's choose that name. Pick fast message speed. Look at him, he's even got the plume in his hat there, just like Kafka. And we are the, the descendant of a legendary hero, Erdrich, who uh, once, well, defeated the Dragon Lord with a ball of light. What did he do that was so wrong? Oh, so the Dragon Lord is back. He stole the orb of light or ball of light, whatever, and we have to stop him to save the kingdom of, Al of Alifgard. Some of the storyline was in the instruction manual or on the box, so they don't explain all of it in the game here. But we can take what's in these treasure chests here. All right. And we can talk to other soldiers and towns and everything to figure out where to go. So apparently no one knows who we are. We have no equipment, but it's our job to save the world. Thanks a lot, man. So yeah, everything in this game is menu-based. You don't just, like, look at a treasure chest and open it. You have to actually select a menu command to do it. So, get 120 gold here. And we get a torch here that lets you see in caves because, well, you can't... It's, it's dark in there. I'm afraid of the dark. And we get a magic key. All right. Uh, no, never heard of her. Oh, no. Yeah, the Dragon Lord kidnapped the princess, too, so we gotta rescue her, too. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Okay, I'll see what I can do, man. Yeah, yeah, I heard about her. You just told... Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Hey, how's it going? Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we get some gold here. We gotta go to the towns of the east to actually purchase some equipment. Yeah, they're not just gonna make us go out there bare naked to save the world. That'd be a bad idea. Yeah, sleep heals everything, including death. Oh, yeah, I noticed that. Okay, yeah, that's how we get out of here. You can't just open a door. Uh, can I use it here? Oh, okay, you can use it like that, too. Uh, or you could use the door command and it'll open up the door too. Now, to make sure you don't accidentally go down a flight of stairs you don't want to, you have to actually select the stairs command in order to go down a flight of stairs and to talk to people and stuff like that. So, I guess in a way that's kind of nice, so you don't have to worry about that. And, yeah, you save with the king there. That's how you save your game. Uh, you can't save anywhere else in the game, only here. So, that's how it works. 
But fortunately, the game isn't too huge. I don't know. Let's ask around. Maybe someone has uh, seen what's been going on. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're going to have to defeat a lot of monsters to uh, be able to take on the Dragonlord. We're at level 1 here. Holy cow. How do they expect me to save the world? Now, when I got this game back in the day, uh, we were so poor, we couldn't afford to buy the game. I didn't even get the game with a subscription to Nintendo Power. I had to rent a game, a copy of Dragon Warrior in order to actually play it. It was like some local store, uh, Video Depot or something like that. And I had to rent it to play the game. And this old man here, when you saw that bright light there, he restores your MP for free. So that's pretty nice. But unfortunately, we don't have any spells for right now. So we're going to have to, uh, well, get up to level 3 at least to get our first spell. And we start here in Canticle Castle. Alright, let's uh, continue exploring, but I want to take a quick pause break here. Alright, now these green guys here, they are merchants. Oh no, it's terrible. They don't sell stuff here, but in other towns they will. Oh, well, I'm sure that's not true. We'll have to do more exploring later. I want to get up there. Hey, get out of my way. There you go. I was afraid I was going to have to fast forward. And we can't get in that room there because we don't have a magic key. If only there were a place where we could buy more magic keys. I heard that... Oh, yeah, I know all about that. But I heard that there's like some treasure chest bug or something where uh, chests in this game, most of them regenerate if you leave an area and then come back. I heard there's like a, a way or something where like there's a bug where some array doesn't get cleared or something if you die. I'm not 100% sure how it works. It's listed in the technical fact that I've listed in the video description there. But there's a way where you can get those chests over and over and over and over again to get a lot of gold relatively early in the game. I'm not going to take advantage of that, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm aware of that. So let's see if I can make it. Yes. Okay. Made it to the town of Breconary. So let's buy some our well buy some of our equipment here. Now one interesting thing about uh, this part is uh, the guy who made that technical fact, Ryan. Uh, he also made a simulator that I don't have access to, but he determined what is the best equipment to buy to advance in the game the quickest. So what we're going to do is first we want to buy a weapon, the club. It's the strongest weapon we can buy at this point. And we also want to buy the clothes. You could go outside, grind for a little gold, and buy the leather armor. But for the cost, the clothes are actually better. And I'm going to buy one other thing that we can't get here yet. The clothes, they don't increase your defense that much. Only by two, but it'll still be worth it. Uh, no, nah, I don't want to buy anything else for right now. Let's see what else we can do around here. Nice old man here. Whoa! Okay, I'll watch out for those. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out for those black marshes outside, because you'll start taking damage, and that's no good. And there's a town of Garenham to the northwest. Okay, well, we'll check that out. A lot of these town names I heard were from, like, uh, the Arthurian legend, or something like that. Uh, I took a class on it, and I never heard of half these towns, but whatever. Well, see what I can do. Thanks for the vote of confidence, man. There's the inn. It works just like any RPG. You talk to the guy, you pay some gold, you regenerate all your HP and MP. Nuts. Well, I'll do the best I can. Maybe some other people know where, uh... Oh, yeah, I already talked to this guy. I thought he was the other guy who looks just like him. But apparently not. Oh, I thought you were! I thought I found her five minutes into the game! I guess I was wrong. It's gonna be harder than that, viewers. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, don't I have any proof? Nuts. We're gonna have to find some proof that we are the descendant of Erdrich. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, Charlock. Yeah, that's the uh, dominion of the Dragon Lord himself. But we can't get over there because it's on an island. And we don't get a ship in this game. Yeah, let's get some tools from him. Let's buy the Dragon Scale. Uh, the Dragon Scale is almost the same thing as the clothes. It increases your defense by two. Um, by the way, when you get equipment, it automatically equips itself. You don't have to actually go to some equip menu to use it. Except for the Dragon Scale, because it's actually just an item. You use it, it equips it, 
and it raises your defense by two permanently. So actually what you could do, it's also a little bit of a bug, you could sell the dragon scale and you'd still be able to keep that equipment bonus. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Okay, well that's everything that I want to buy here. So next time we'll be going out to kill some monsters and do some massive level grinding. Yay! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.